Blog Talk Radio. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's show. It is July 20th, 2017. Um, guys, you want to say hi? What's going on, good people? It's your boy Clint, you already know. What up, dope people? It is Willie Styles. Thanks for listening. Yes, hey, so- hey everybody, it's Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, we got a great show for you guys to, um, this tonight. If you listened last week, you, are, you should know where we're going with, with it this week. So um, it's definitely going to be an interesting topic. But if you are listening right now, you are on blogtalkradio.com forward slash DFT radio show. And if you want to call in, 657-383-1155. Phone lines open up at 1015. If you are too shy to let your voice be heard, you can tweet us at GFT underscore radio using the hashtag DFT Radio, and we will definitely um, listen, um, check out check out what you said to us and um, say it out on the air. So, we're going to get this party started. So, how was everybody week? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. I was out there working out earlier with my little brother. I know a couple of you probably seen it on the Why you had not in that heat wave? Huh? Uh, well, he deserved it, you know what I mean? So I had to punish him. Instead, I ended up punishing myself. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Trying to run you up. You did you? Huh? Nah, not, yeah. not this week. But okay. Shoot, that, that, that sun was bearing down on me, trying to run up and down them bleachers. After after uh walking about four and a half miles, did some bleachers. And by the time I got back home, it was probably, probably like 11 o'clock. My day was done. <laughs> I think it's done. I was tired. It beat that son killed me. Um, Show me up uh, out of that. Yeah, that's 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 rough right there. You out there working out in the sun. That's ooh, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 see, my whole mentality was all right. I shed more calories and, burn, and sweat more in the sun, so it should you know what I mean quicker to lose weight. But man, <laughs> let me tell you, I was lightheaded and everything. Well, I would. So. <laughs> I try to try to get this body right there. Outside of that, this week's been love, been lovely. Willie, you got to be like the rest of us. Accept the fact. That's all. Just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> I right, own it. I right? say own it. Own it. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, my 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 week's my week's been going good. I um I spent the last I would say like the last three or four days like in mad scramble mode with work because uh, I took on a new uh, new job. Well, it's like an additional job in, in addition to everything I'm already doing. And uh, so it's, it, I had to learn it. Then I had to start doing it like the, like the next day. And it's just been crazy working extra hours, trying to keep up with, with the, with the uh, extra work and the volume of work. I uh, definitely have a new appreciation for, for what my coworker was doing before she decided to, to retire. So, I'm, um, you know, I'm still, I'm actually, I was just working just before I, you know, I went to dinner just a few minutes ago. So it was like, man, it was crazy. So I'm, um, just trying to get over that, you know, reeling from all of that. And then, uh, I don't know, some of y'all see my, my posting, my, my little grandson came through today. So I got to see him for the first time. I, uh, it's my third one. So he's, um, I think he's two weeks old. No, either two weeks or three weeks old. So, um, so yes, I got to see him for the first time. And uh, uh, the past. He, he's a, I see you. <laughs> uh, the past. I see you posted that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's yeah. What's up. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Michelle, how was your week? Um, it was, you know what? I had a really. I was trying to work out. You know, I was with Clint. You know, I understood what he was going through. I tried on Monday. <laughs> I was supposed to go Wednesday and Friday. See how we ain't even stepped into Friday, and I already know I'm not going to do it. <laughs> he, said, he said, no, hold on. He said, I tried. <laughs> right, right. You tried one day. That's all right. You tried. That's all. That's, that's all that matters. You tried. You tried. <laughs> I tried. You know, um, hopefully my trainer's not listening to this because she's going to get on me, but um, – <laughs> Um, but overall, I've had a, 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 a fabulous week. You know, we did the photo shoot on Tuesday, so that was awesome. So. Yeah, I saw you know, some working. pictures today. Yeah, baby. Yeah, right now. I'm like, okay now, okay. I've seen the nice little BBW <laughs> yeah. picture posted 
I see yeah, that. Yeah, this love could have been this week. Yeah, yeah, that, that was love. I was like, okay, yes. okay, check her out. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yeah, I love you. Right? Right. You said what, Sunny? I think I love the skin that you come in. You got. You got to love it. So somebody else to love, and if you confident, oh, yeah. that that that's sexy all all in itself. So you know. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 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 How was but your week, Sunny? My week has been. I don't know what the fuck my week has been. It nothing really bad happened. <laughs> Nothing bad happened, but a whole bunch of craziness it was just like random stuff was popping in there. But other than that, I had a I had a cool week. Um, went to the doctors again today. You know, I've been going through the emotions of what's going on with me and why I'm like physically drained and I can't really function like I normally am. Usually on the go, but I've been like dead, exhausted, and we're trying to figure this situation out. Talk to my doctor again, like I, like like we always say and kind of always say, health really matters. Um, we just found out that my um. Iron is like freakishly, like like dangerously low. So now we got to figure out a whole diet plan. I'm I'm not getting enough protein. He talked about getting iron shots, which I don't want to do. So we have to kind of change my diet to where I'm eating. And I don't eat a lot of red meat. I don't, you know, I I normally sit like chicken and fish, and I eat pork in the mix. But I don't really eat a lot of red meat. So now I got to bring that into my diet and just you know try to figure out what's going to work for me in the long run because um this, like, is really an issue, and I'm, like, to the point where I can't function. Like, I'm exhausted, and I'm not doing, like, I'm I'm not even having the energy to do, the, like, the, like, my day-to-day stuff. I'm so exhausted. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on because this can't, I'm 34. I can't be tired with, with a 4-year-old in my house. It doesn't work, let alone a teenager. So we're just trying to figure that out. But other than that, um, my week has been great. So, okay. Yeah, you yeah. definitely got to take a lot that's of naps. Good. That's what's up. Huh? Yeah, you naps to get... all. Yeah, so you definitely got to get that in order. You know, yeah. that's that's one of the issues I uh I currently have as well. They got me on iron pills and all this type stuff, and I I definitely had to change my uh my diet. You feel me? Cause I uh, you know, with me, I get dehydrated quick. Mm-hmm. So so no, mm-hmm. that's one of the that's one of the things. <clears throat> with low iron, that's what happens. You know, you get yeah, dehydrated quickly. You know, once you get dehydrated, that, that that's why that, that's why that's why I'm always on ice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's what they do. But like, I'm I'm on the vitamins. I'm on iron pills. But he just like at this point, that's not enough. I need to just do something. And I'm eating like I'm trying to eat more food with iron. Like you know. um, um, I started eating more more red meat. I started um, what I love spinach, so I've been eating that like salad, regular spinach, and stuff like that. But like, I guess at this point, it's like the this this is not working. So we gotta change up the whole thing. He said the plus side is if when when they do my diet plan, I'll probably lose weight inadvertently because of how I'm like what they're what I'm gonna eat. It's not, it's not that I'm eating unhealthy. I'm just not eating like the stuff that's gonna help me get the iron and get my energy back. Because being on pills or energy, taking iron pills and, and eating more stuff that got iron in it is not helping. So I gotta change my whole how I eat food and you know what I eat. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how that works. Gotta, yeah, you gotta gotta make that sacrifice. I mean, it's for the greater good, you know, to get your get your health in order, be able to be be there for your kids. Yeah. Right. But I told okay. him I, I'm, I'm just exhausted, and I I could not be doing anything, and I feel like I'm just running a mile in in the sun like Clint did, and then I came home passed out. I don't do shit but sit at my desk, punch in numbers, answer phones, and answer emails, and then go home. And I'm like, feel like my day is over. Like I need that. I don't know. Wow, wow. So it's we I'm, I'm working on it. So that's what you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. So. That's definitely something you, you just gotta you got you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta go to the doctor and see what's going wrong. When you don't your body act different, you need to ask the question and figure it out. So Very true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. So that's that's the end of my plight. But we're gonna jump into this topic. Now this topic, I I'm going to my else explain it, but I'm just giving a title. The title of tonight's show is Mind Your Business. Just accept the cheating. I need y'all to explain where this where this came from. <laughs> 
I, I, I can I can answer that because <laughs> I want to sit back and listen to y'all put, put uh, 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 expound upon it. <laughs> so, uh, what was it? Last week we you know we were having our discussion and uh, our, our one of our callers called in and mentioned um, that she felt that one thing that some women should stop doing is looking for infidelity, right? So she, she, I think she started with the, the statement, mind your business. And so when she, when she expanded upon it, she said, hey, you know, if you, um, if you, you know, looking for information on, you know, who he's out there with and what he's doing and you find it, you need to just turn, turn your back on it or, or, or turn, 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 your, turn your head, turn, turn around, act like you didn't see it and, and let him do what he's doing. If he love you, if he taking care of home, you know, let, let, let that man do what he's doing out there in the street. And so she, you know, continued to, to, ex, to expand and even mention about uh, allowing the infidelity uh, out of the fact of not destroying a marriage or not destroying a home. So, uh, so yeah, so that's our topic today is, you know, is, is it okay to allow your spouse or your mate to cheat just because they're taking care of home or, they're, or, they're, or, or you're married and you don't want to destroy that marriage over something as, as futile or, or, or small as cheating in her mind, uh, in, in her opinion? Uh, so, you know, what's everybody's opinion on that? Can I say something real quick? I watched this clip. Um, I watched this clip. Um, I know Michelle is with our guest host tonight. I'm sorry to clip my mind. Michelle, are you on the phone with us? So she's our guest host. She was on our show last week. She's on here again because we loved her last week, and we love her again this week, and we want her to be on. But um, I don't know if you saw the clip with, with, with the Braxton family values. They had to sit down at the table. They were all talking, you know, the doors and everything. They were talking about cheating, and Tony – Braxton yeah, said that her mom, mom. <laughs> yeah, but right, it, it popped in my head when he was talking. So Tony, Tony Braxton, she wants to say, she says, "Mama told me don't ask questions, like don't, don't, don't ask nothing, or don't come, like don't ask." And she was like, "Because if you ask, then you're, 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 you're understanding that he may tell you he's cheating, and he, 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 yeah, that's when you have to decide whether or not you're gonna stay with him or not. So if you're not gonna stay, if you, if you want, if you're gonna stay with him, then don't ask no question that you ain't ready to hear the answer to. And then, like." Tamar got into it, and she was talking, and she was like, yeah, she said, yeah, I got that for mommy, too, blah, 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 and then she was like, yeah, so basically, what they were saying, and this is why I kind of agree with the caller, because I felt like I, I, I understand on that level. If you're going to, if you know, first of all, women's, women's intuition is, is on point. Like, men are creatures of habit, so when you break a habit, we're, our, our antlers are going up like something ain't right, because this nigga up my ass every day, and now all of a sudden, he, he want to stay late and work. No, that ain't never happened in the history of us dating, but now it happens antennas up, something ain't right. That's just how we are. Intuition is real. So when you when you when you as a woman think that your man is cheating or have a suspicion that he's cheating, once you ask that man that question, you know, personally for me, at that point, if I ask you, I already know you're cheating. So I want you to, I, I'm asking to see if you're going to lie to me. But if you're up front and say you're cheating on me, then I have to decide whether or not I'm going to accept it by still dealing with you or reject it and leave you. Now, if you know that this man said to you, yeah, I'm cheating on you, you know, I love you, but I'm fucking so-and-so, blah, 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 at that point, you should mind your goddamn business because you really want to go, you want to go leave that man. So at that point, you need to mind your business because you know you want to go nowhere. he has been cheating probably before they got together. He's currently cheating. That's what you're still there. So at that point, yes, you do need to mind your goddamn business to keep it pushing. But if, you, if you're gonna, if you going to ask this man to be cheating and you're going to leave him, then that's when you need to be knowing what's going on. That's my piece, but go ahead. Uh, Clint, what's, 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 what's your piece on this one? Okay, I disagree with every, 100% of everything. <laughs> 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 so, I, I want to preface my statement by saying, now, if you're going into a relationship as an open relationship, because an open relationship, you feel me? That's not cheating, but go ahead. Different, yeah, that's, that's that's different rules. Yeah, that's different. Rules. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's not cheating. That's if y'all both in a relationship and y'all, you know, what I mean, open to if y'all swinger types, well, then that's not cheating. You feel me? So I want to preface that with that. My statement with this, with that. Now, if you go, if you got values, you got some type of self respect for yourself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And you not with the cheating. You don't want your man cheating on you. You feel me? Like, I don't understand why would you accept it. To me, that that is, you know what I mean, 
like that's the problem with the community now. It's like our standards are so low. I agree. You feel me? I mean, to me, that that's a sign of desperation. But you just want somebody to love you, you know. I mean, no matter what they do, that that goes against your values. Now, you feel me? From a man, I'm speaking from a man perspective. You feel me? If my if I find out my girl's cheating on me, like it's over. You know what I mean? And like we had these conversations before we even get to it. If you, if ever you feel like you want to step out, just that let me know. You can go. It's over. You feel me? Like we don't got to do this. I'm not beating. Like, I don't got time for that. You feel me? So like I I got self respect. You know what I mean? Like so if I if if, if I feel as though that's disrespectful, you stepping out on me, you stepping out on me will continue to you know what I mean stay out. You feel me? You can stay out there. I can move on. You know what I mean? I'm not one of these bitter dudes out here. Listen, there's a lot of good women out here. <laughs> you feel me? You're not the only one. Well, I, it's, in my opinion, you're not even a good woman. You're out here cheating. You feel me? And, and, and if we're, our relationship is supposed to be exclusive, you know what I mean, just between us. You know what I mean? You want to you stepping out on me, you feel me? To me, they, you're a fraud. You know what I mean? Like, you, you have no morals at the end of the day. So why would I want to stay around? You feel me? Like, I wouldn't. And then I have a sister, younger sister, a daughter. I would never tell them just sit back and accept it because he's taking care of you. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know what society that, I mean, that's, that's, that's an old school mentality to me. Like, feel me, you're supposed to be taking care of yourself at this point in today's society. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You, there's enough out here for you to take care of yourself. So you don't need a man to take care of you. You feel me? That, that's not what, it, <clears throat> that, you know what I mean? That's not how the situation goes nowadays. I mean, you don't need a man to take care of you uh, financially. I mean, like, so if that's that's the only reason why you stand around, and then because, to me, like, you don't love yourself enough exactly. to walk away from a situation, like, you know what I mean? That's, that's a personal problem. You feel me? And then when, you, when y'all keep saying, mind your business, mind your business, like, hold on. If you're in a relationship or married, you know what I mean? My business is your business. Your business is my business. We won. Like, what are you talking about? My right, business. right, right. You know what I mean? That don't even sound right. You know what I mean? Like, that that just that just that's that's just sound ridiculous to me, to be quite honest with you. You know what I mean? So but that's what I like. I, I I agree with you. I'm not like me. If you cheat on me, we're done. I, I my my standpoint is if you know that this man is cheating on you and you asked him and you got proof and you know this man is cheating on you and you stay at that point. Like, what are you complaining for? You, you, you accepted that. At that point, you have accepted that this man cheated on you, and that he possibly gonna keep doing it again. Because a man gonna do what you allow them to do, or a woman gonna let, uh, do what you allow them to do. If you keep, if somebody keeps cheating on you, and you keep taking them back. Why would they stop? You know what mentality that needs to stop is? Oh, he's, you know, what I mean, I used to hate. Well, he coming home to me at night. Like, yeah, or, right, or, yeah, or, yeah. or, yeah. or, or, or like, I'm, I'm number one. Right. Yeah, like, like I, want, I, want I want tonight. I want tonight. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's two, three, four, five, and six. What are you talking about? What you think about Michelle? What's your What's your input? Oh, I have so many strong opinions on this topic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so we know that we had a caller call in last week, and um, she was one of my cust. Well, she is one of my customers, and. That was the first time where we completely disagreed on <laughs> on a topic. So um, my opinion towards that, first of all, when it comes down to cheating, I think our perspective on cheating will change as you continue to grow as a person. Mm-hmm. Um, the way that you accept cheating when you're in your teenage years or when you're, you know, in your early 20s or, you know, in your 20s period, you shouldn't be accepting that or looking at it the same way that you would perceive it, you know, when you're in your 30s and your 40s. So. Mm-hmm. With that being said, as you continue to grow as a person, like um, Clint said, as you learn to um, love yourself and learn your worth, cheating is not an option. You know, mm-hmm. when you're younger, you deal with you you deal with that you deal with a lot of stupid stuff that happens in your relationship, and you know it it should help you grow as a person to make you say what you will and will not accept in your relationship. Um, so for myself per se. When I was younger, cheating was something that it was like, okay, well, yeah, he did it, all right, he didn't mean to do it, he'll forget, or you know, he'll, 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 you know, I'll forgive and you know, we'll move on from it. Um, but as you get older, you realize that that's not the case. You know, um, as you get older, you learn your worth and you understand the type of person that you are and what you bring to the table. And a person, when you bring so much worth to the table, the way that I, I personally feel like I do, 
you don't get the option to cheat on me and then it'd be like, okay, well, yeah, I forgive you. Let's figure it out. Let's work it out. No, because obviously you didn't understand the union that we had and the bond that we had from the beginning. So since you didn't understand it, since you didn't appreciate it, then you can go somewhere else and you can try to find it. Exactly. Um, and like I tell people, one of the things, and I said this last week where I told you guys that I was um, in a 12-year relationship, and um, one of the things that we did deal with was infidelity. Now, the only thing is, is we dealt with it on both ends. And it was like, oh, okay, so you're going to cheat, so I'll cheat with you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was like, okay, so you decided to do it. I, I, I'll show you I can do it better. And, um, and we did that for years. And, you know, even at the end of the day, it got to a point where it was like, okay, the relationship is still ending. Why do you continue to try to repair it and try to fix it? Then you, you, you build up that, you know, you, you, you build that person up to break them down again and then build them up to break them down again. That's, that was on both ends. So it had to get to a level of maturity to say, okay, this is not working. You know, our relationship is not working. Let's stop mm-hmm. um, putting each other through this and let's go ahead and end it and realize that even though our relationship did not work, even though you cheated on me, even though I cheated on you, that doesn't make us bad people. That doesn't make it where you're, um, that you're not, it doesn't make it as you, it doesn't make you not a good man. It doesn't make me not a good woman. We did what we did when we were together because that was what we accepted. The woman that you're supposed to be with is not going to accept that she'll build you up and she'll make you be the man that you're supposed to be and vice versa for myself. You know, so you have to start understanding that. And that, that's when it kind of um, gets a little tricky with cheating because you deal with people where they're like, oh, well, he cheated on me, so he's a horrible person. It's like, well, okay, he cheated on you and he had to lose you to learn that in order for him to be able to have a good relationship and to actually have a lasting relationship, that cheating is not going to be an option. Unfortunately, you had to be the person that, you know, he did that too. But you have to be able to trust God and forgive that and move on or, you know, whatever, um, you know. And understand that it whatever he did or whatever she did or whatever, um, it doesn't per se, it, it doesn't make it where it's a hit on you. It doesn't make you any less than what you are. It just means that that person yeah, was that's right what bothers right. me too. People get so wrapped right. up when they get cheated on what did I do wrong. You don't have to do anything. That person chose to cheat. That isn't that, nothing to, like, not like, I mean, some people are just selfish. They want to do what they want to do regardless of, you could be at home taking care of business. You could do everything you're supposed to do. And guess what? People cheat. It's not something that necessarily you did. Well, well, the thing is, Sonny, is a lot of people, a lot of people look at that when they see, when they have something negative like that happen to them, they always going to look on the inside and, and, and kind of, you know, beat themselves up about the situation because they feel like, like the person, because they have this, this high regard for that person. They feel like this person wouldn't have done this to me if I hadn't done X, Y, Z to them, or they wouldn't uh, uh, stepped out if, if I wouldn't have been, you know, maybe nagging them or maybe getting on them about, you know, this, that, and the other, or, you know, maybe it's something I'm not doing. Like, you know, you hear women will say, well, you know, you, you, if you, if you're not doing this to him, you're not sucking his dick or if you're not giving him sex or if you're not, you know, and then that, you know, it's like, Oh, you know, you, you should expect them to cheat, you know, that kind of thing. So you, you get a lot of that, you know, where people are, are, Self-deprecating for for the for the situation that they're in. I want to ask you something. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on. Okay. Paula, you're on the line with GSC Radio. Hello. 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 H
You feel me? A lot of people go with this saying, oh, you got to learn how to forgive so you can move on. No, I can move on perfectly fine with my life. You feel me? I don't know where y'all get that from. No, I mean, I, 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 you feel me? I'm not going to, you feel me? Me, me, me not forgiving you is not going to hinder my happiness. I don't know where we get that from. You feel me? I do not subscribe to that at all. You feel me? So, because once you cross the line with me, you're cut. You feel yeah. me? I can well, I think, on. I, I think, but Clint, I think they mean more like you forget forgive in a way where you can where you can get over the the, the grudge or get over the hurt and be able to say okay not, you know what I release you from from my from my anger and my pain and now I can just go ahead and move on because I know I've learned not to deal with people like you or I learned not to get in these kind of situations that's what that's really what forgive me like me I can forgive I'm you but I can't forget I'm not about to forget I'm not about to forget what you did. I'm gonna forgive. I'm gonna forgive you in the in regards of I'm. I'm gonna let you do you over there, and I'm gonna walk away, and I'm and I'm just gonna uh, uh, live my life, be happy with somebody else or be in some other situation. But I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> forget that. I cannot. I can't forget. I, I'm sorry. I mean, I can dig that I, to a little. I can dig that, but to, with, with me, it's like you feel me. I don't. I don't separate the forgive or forget because you feel me. Even if I don't forget, I'm still gonna remember. So I know I can't deal with you on that certain level anymore. You feel me? So in a, in a way, that's still like I'm not forgiving you. You feel me? Because yeah. if I fully, if you fully forgive somebody, then you know what I mean. You accept them back wholeheartedly. It's, it's the, that's how I see forgiveness. With me, oh yeah, yeah, I, mean, I feel you. I feel you. Well, you know what? Yeah. So that's hey, guys, hold on, guys. We have another caller. Okay. Hello, you're on the line with GLT Radio. What's your name and where are you from? Good evening. This is Marilyn. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> hey. This call is now being recorded. Hey, guys. Uh, this is spark this conversation. Absolutely. And I have right, so many right. things I want to say. She's like, she's not about to let this go without. I'm chiming in. Absolutely. Go ahead. <laughs> Firstly, um, I have to go back to last week when I made a comment about um, just about, you know, for the most part, every man that I've ever dealt with, you know, boy, whatever, has been, you know, what we prefer to call cheaters, <laughs> right? And so I don't know exactly who it was, but someone made a comment that it was something, maybe it was an issue, maybe it was an issue with me. And I didn't take offense to it, of course, but I felt bad because that's how a lot of women feel. This is why a lot of women have issues with their with their self esteem. They're so insecure, they're crazy, they allow people to treat them in, in different ways because they assume that a person another person's actions is because of them and their inadequacies and, and which is not true. Men for the most part are natural what we call cheaters. They are not monogamous for the most part. I don't know a lot of them. I hear a lot of people say they are. I, I know a married man that is not faithful. And when when you ask, who all in the room is a faithful man, he raises his hand high. And I know for sure he's not a faithful man. So I don't believe it when men say that they are um, that they are faithful. I, I just don't believe it. It's not in their nature to be that way. Well, I think okay, okay. I, made, I, don't I, made I don't want that made that comment. I don't want that made that comment to her. <laughs> Right. Oh, so okay. So it was you that made the comment. So now, why yeah. would you? <laughs> now, let me let me let me explain <laughs> what I meant by that. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I want to ask you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I want to ask you. Why would you assume that someone else's actions that I cannot control are because of me? No. Let me, let me, I that, 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 no. Hold on. That, that, I, 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 can, I can explain it. What I'm mm-hmm. saying is. You didn't cause him to cheat. What I was saying is you need to look at the men you are picking. You need to you need to raise your standards of men. Because no, to wait, make okay, thing, so to make, so a, not, so hold on, to make a comment to make a comment that all men cheat is is is, is false and kinda of asinine because you don't know all men. Just like I don't know all women. I haven't met all women. 
Only woman right. I know is the woman I come in contact with, you know, and I okay, go out so, come, come so in contact part, with some shady female, and I can come in contact with some real official faithful female. You know, I okay, have friends. So, so, question. so I have a question. So is a okay. man who, what, what, what is the definition of a good man? If a good man, is a good no man just a man who, who is faithful? Or is a good man someone well, that, that takes that, care of his household? That's not very on the woman that's, um, that's given that definition. Yeah, that's basically you talking about your there. preference. That's basically you talk, when, when people talk about what's a good woman, or like if I was to sit here to tell you what a good woman is, all I'm really telling you is my preference. You know, that doesn't right. mean the type exactly. of woman I like really likes. Okay, so, so, so like when you said I need to be more careful is, about oh. the man that I choose, what if for me fidelity is not <laughs> that important? Which it isn't. Well, then that's a choice. I need, that's a choice you it's make. It's not that important. That's a, that's, that's a personal choice. That's a personal choice. Oh. You know, right. so, 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 but my thing is, so if, if fidelity, if fidelity isn't important, then you you should go into a relationship as an open relationship to, be, to, to say, well, no. you know what I mean? You can no, do what I, you I want. Have to, I don't have if, to have if, an if open you, relationship to say that's not the most important thing to me. It's not, but see, on, my, it's not that, on the so, top of my list. Uh, I mean, but wouldn't like that, I have a question. I, I have a question. Wouldn't that wouldn't that be first of all when when somebody's cheating you have to look at the whole aspect of the situation whether your relationship whether you got kids involved all that stuff is becomes a factor depending on your personal situation but outside of all that your 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 body is is all you so you understand that with that with not cheating is is real when when STDs are involved cheating is real when stuff like that can like pregnancy can be involved no matter how much protective sex you can have. Or unprotected, otherwise she she can go wrong. So and, uh, cheating, and the same in open relationships be, and and, cheating, and, and cheating, polyamorous relationships. Cheating can be very real and, and, and a factor because you you can't get rid of AIDS, you can't get rid of herpes. You shit, like you get an STD, you burn and somebody got time for that. That's that's what happens from whether whether what, you in a long relationship or cheating. You can be with somebody forever. Right. Oh, oh, so if it happens either way, way, then it's not. Then then we, then we can bring, use bring it as an example if you're gonna say it happens. That's real. Either relationship. Let me hear what you said. Uh, uh, Marilyn, hold on one second, because we can't hear you, Marilyn. What did you say? I said if you're going to say that it can happen in either relationship, then it's not a factor. If, either if you're in a monogamous, I can meet a man that doesn't know that it's he a has a risk of a factor. Listen, it's, it's a higher risk of, of taking the SUV. What I'm if, saying if is, made, if you're made of cheating, it's a higher risk. Right, but I, I understand. And there's no difference in if he's cheating or if he. Is if we're in an open relationship, the diseases don't stop just because we're in an open relationship. Well, but believe, what I'm saying is, I believe if you're is in an open you can complain every day that you are ten dollar an hour type of employee, but if you still make five dollars an hour, that's just what it is. So you can complain every day that I want a man that's faithful, but if you continue to deal with and talk to men who aren't, then it doesn't make it any different. I don't know a lot of women who have faithful men. I just don't. And I don't know know, if maybe... Because I deal with... Marilyn, let me say this. Um, Because, you know, I I deal with a lot of different customers. I deal with a lot of different... um, I deal with a lot of their relationships. Um, And starting my business was a true blessing because I was able to actually see um, how many good men are actually out there compared to what I originally had saw just within my circle at the, before I started my business. Um, when I started my business, I was more condemned into um, my neighborhood and the guys that I saw in my neighborhood and the things that they dealt with and the things that I was dealing with within my relationship. And then as I continued to grow my horizon, I was really able to see that, wait a minute, what I'm dealing with or what I'm seeing uh, call recording off friends deal with, um, what I'm seeing them deal with, is not what other people are dealing with because there are actually good men out here who want a woman of their own, who don't want to be able to, who don't want to juggle multiple women or who don't want to, you know, no one wants, you, I'm, I'm finding men who don't want to, um, you know, they don't want to have to delete their text messages or find out who's calling them or, you know, making sure that they, they you know, hide in their, their, their cheating habits or whatever. They, they want somebody that's just there where they're happy. And I'm finding more men 
now in these days um, that are my customers who are who are celibate um, more than women are, who are willing to wait until they find the woman that they are ready to be with, you know, more than the women that I'm dealing with who are more like, girl, listen, I'm about to suck his because dick and I'm about to go over more there. So and so and he wants to about to take me out. You said what, babe? Okay, so, okay. so uh, just, just well, because this 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 part of, a, of of when I talk about how I feel about um, monogamous relationships and men being monogamous, I dislike when people say, "Well, why are you settling?" Settling is when someone is uncomfortable with something, but they accept it. I'm not uncomfortable with it, so I'm not settling when I say fidelity is not on my top list of priorities. So, right, hold on, please don't so you and you're lowering your standards. And you're and you're settling because I'm not settling and I'm not lowering. Marilyn. Yes. Hey, Marilyn. Let me ask you a quick question, really quickly. Um, so are threesomes, foursomes, orgies, open relationships, polygamous relationships? Is that something that you're into? Is that something that you're okay with? Um, I can't. Well, that's. Well, as far as threesomes and things like that, I've I've never done them. Maybe curious about them, but it's really not something that I'm into. Um, as far as the open relationship, I don't need to know what you're doing. I'm not interested in that. I don't want to know what you're doing. I don't want to snoop through your things, and I don't want you telling me. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about things well, that make us happy. In an open relationship, you're not. In an open relationship, you know that this person has the possibility to go out and deal with someone else, um, even though he is your man, or vice versa. You're able that's to go out and deal with somebody else, even though uh, you're a, a man that's at home. Hold it closed relationships. That's, I mean, you're a human being. You always are going, are possibly going to do whatever you want to do. That's I, don't, I don't, I don't want to have a title that's like that, that though. I mean, if, whatever we are. If you're my man, that's it. I don't want to talk about well, what kind of rules do we have, and we do what makes us comfortable. I don't right, want to. Hold on, I don't Marty, want to. Okay. Hold on, hold on, Marilyn. I'm gonna put you on hold because that's what the call is on. Okay. Caller, you're on the line with GFT Radio Show. What's your name and where you from? GFT Radio. No. <laughs> Best talk show broadcast <laughs> I know, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? I look forward to Thursdays in my yo. I look I look, I look forward to Thursdays in my schedule. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, so I, you know, I can get some vent up. Everybody cheat, and if somebody tells you they don't oh cheat. God. That's a damn lie. <laughs> <laughs> go with everybody go cheat. Right. Feel me? Feel me? Like everybody cheat. Ain't nobody gonna tell me they don't cheat. Feel me? Except me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just, but, he got the clean slate. He got the clean slate. Right. right. He's the only one with the clean slate. So, yeah, so yeah, Jabril, yeah, Jabril, what, 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 would you, what, what would you do if your if your girl is at home taking care of the kids? She's 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 making sure when you come home there's there's a warm bath, there's there's food on the table, and 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 then you happen to find out she got another dude coming in when you go into work. What, would you stay or would you or would you go? In my opinion, even my brother, you know, Clint, he know this. Been there, done that. Life experiences, feel me? So, yeah, we all want that home feeling. We all want that wifey at the house. You know, we want to, like, you know, come home after, you know, whatever long hours of shift that you work, come home. But who knows, you know, you, you know, they say the devil's workshop, uh, idle hands is the devil's workshop. Well, this, this is this how I feel. First of all, first of all. Remember, guys, you got another caller. Hold on. First, everybody don't cheat, man. Like I hate that. I hate that. I don't believe Thank that. You. Like, like everybody don't cheat. Everybody don't cheat. And then and and then let's be clear. Like you know, I noticed in this conversation, you feel me? The onus is always on the men. People keep saying men on. Right. Like, like, no, like, women, like women. Women been cheating women from the beginning. Fine. Yeah, you know I mean, like they've been cheating as, just as much as men from the beginning of time. Like, you know what I mean, right. che- cheating is not exclusive to men. So no, we, we like we no, no, no. cheating is not exclusive to men. You're right. Cheating I is not exclusive to men. Child, Clint, 
Yeah, yeah. We, but but yeah, but like we but we know that. Like, from, we, we, like, uh, we we could have had about who cheats more and who cheats. Not even who cheats more. Who cheats better? Women definitely cheat better because it'll be years yeah. before I find out that they actually cheat. God damn. Yeah, that's true. I don't believe that. Yeah, they usually have to come out and tell us. They, they usually have to come out and tell us. So. <laughs> but, but but how many right? times the females? How many, how many times that females believe they was in a relationship and really was? Exactly. Like, Amen. Like, so, Amen to that. So, so Amen to that. Cheat, that's so to whole, say one. Yeah. So to that's say a whole one. Cheat, one. The one. To say one cheat is right, better than the other. Is, that you know you know I mean, that don't that don't add up to me neither because you know. I, I, I know had to plenty do that of women. If you cheat on me, you cheated. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I like, I know, I know, I know women currently, right now. You feel me? That right. just found found out something, and they're heartbroken. Like they never would have thought that this person would be that way. You feel me? And right, right. so, like, that shit. I mean, like, we need to get that shit out. We need to change the conversation. Like, we we too well, old. This is everything. Uh, men and women cheat. That's just yeah. put it right. there. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is my biggest thing. This is my biggest thing, and this and this and this is the kind of answer to Mer- Marilyn's uh, point, and, and probably to Clint's too. Um, this is my thing. This is my thing. Um, there, everybody makes these like not everybody. A lot of people make these blanket statements that that you know all men cheat or all people have the potential to cheat or or uh, there's you know potential to cheat in every relationship. Blah 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 blah. blah. This is my thing. We're people. We're human beings, right? We have the natural inclination to be attracted to other human beings. We're either going, right. you know, be attracted to the opposite sex, or we're going to be attra- attracted to the same sex, depending on what your situation or is. Both. Or both. So, or both. There. so, so, so the thing is, the thing is, is that we 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 don't stop loving people because we're in love with somebody. We don't stop looking because we got something at home. We don't stop wanting or desiring other things just because there's something that is for us, right? The, but the thing is this. This is the thing. This is, this is what separates the cheaters from the non-cheaters. <laughs> it's self-control. <laughs> it's all about self-control. It, it's, it, there's, there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing in this world that will stop a, 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 a grown man or a grown woman that has, you know, a sexual drive or a sex drive going and they and the ability to want to be with another human being. There's nothing going to stop them from having those desires ever. It's just not possible but, unless they have a chemical imbalance or or memory loss, whatever the case may be. The thing is, right. is that it's but, all about self-control. If I'm in a relationship with somebody and I feel like I love them enough to be in a committed and a monogamous relationship with them. If I feel like that's the way I want to be in that relationship, then I have to make the sacrifice, the sacrifice to be exactly. able to step away from those temptations and from those situations that will cause me to either cheat or step out or fall, you know, prey to or, 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 or be a predator. Whatever the case may be, I have to make that sacrifice to be able to step away from those situations and say, you know what, I'm going to be the better person for this relationship. Somebody mentioned earlier, I think Michelle mentioned earlier, it's about worth, right? So what do you value either your relationship or that other person in order to make that sacrifice or even yourself. I mean, the thing is, is that when you're out here and you're either cheating on your mate or you're having sexual relationships with a bunch of people because you can, the thing is, is you expose yourself both physically and emotionally. And, and a, a lot of times men don't even see that part of it. They don't understand that part. But the thing is you expose yourself physically and emotionally. And the physical part of it, like Sonny mentioned, I mean, look, look at our boy Usher. You know, he out here – Giving people herpes and, 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 and spreading germs and diseases and stuff, and all these women thought they wanted him. Now they find out that you know they, that that you know he got death on the on the tip. So the thing is, is that I, I should burn. you know you you expose yourself to those diseases. You expose yourself to 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 incurable and curable ones. But there's even more incurable ones out there that we worried about. They got the super gonorrhea now, you know. So 
thing is you expose yourself to that. And then emotionally, yeah, you know, you can destroy not only the relationship yeah. you have with that person, you can yeah. destroy your family. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've been in enough relationships, you know, I've been in enough relationships to know and to have seen this. And, yeah, and, and you know, do you, do you pick cheaters? What? Do you pick people who cheat on you? I don't believe you do because I know in my heart of hearts that, that the people who have cheated on me that when I was in a relationship with them, I don't believe they did it out of spite. I don't think they did it out of being evil. I don't think they did it. I think it was either situation, circumstance, or their value of the relationship. Either they didn't value the relationship enough, but – we were, you know, we 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 Boy, were probably good friends enough, or they didn't, or they didn't uh, have the self control that they needed, or whatever the case may be. I just feel like it was, you know, just the wrong relationship. It was time to move on. Thing is, is that people have the choice. It's all about choice. You 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 make a choice every day to you know go to work. You could not go to work. Does, 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 that, does that mean that, you know, just because you've grown, you are going to go to work and you have to go to work? No. You make that choice. You make that sacrifice. So in, in a relationship, you have to make that relationship work. If you want that relationship to work and you're supposed to be monogamous or you're supposed to be one-on-one with that person, regardless of your, your desires and your, and your inclinations, you have to make a decision to be uh, or to not cheat or to be uh, – uh, uh, monogamous with the with the relationship that you're in, it's you know that's just it, that's just it. But it doesn't make everybody a cheater. It doesn't make every because some people have the ability to say, you know what, I value this relationship a little bit more. I want to make this sacrifice. I want to be or, or like uh, Michelle was pointing out is that some people have you know higher standards for themselves because they want to be able to say, hey, you know what, I did what was right. I did my part. You know what I'm saying? And you know I don't want to be. Yeah, I- you said we, have we, another call. Another call. we got another caller. We got another caller, and I don't want to say they've been on hold for a while. I just want to get them, let, let them speak their piece. Hold on one second. Sorry to cut you off, Mr. I've been doing it all night. I apologize. You're hold okay. on. No, you're okay, babe. Go ahead. Call you on the line finally with GST Radio. <laughs> What's going on? That's Jack from Detroit. How you doing? Hello. What's going on? How are you? What's your name again? I think, you know, I think I'm doing Jack. I'm one of uh one of Michelle's customers for sure. It has been for okay. a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time. Um, so uh, shout out to her by the way for being a a very independent a black woman running two businesses and and still working. Oh, yeah. Day, man, she really she really is on her grind. So uh, shout out to her. Hats off for her for that. Thank you. Thank um, you. So All right. I, I I guess I had one thing on my mind when I called. And then I, as I've been listening, man, it's it's really, I guess it shows to me state of mind that some people have. And you can't tell, you know, you can't tell somebody, hey, your feelings are wrong because that's their feelings. And their feelings are based on their experiences, how they, you know, how they uh, look at themselves and how they've been treated. But on the flip side of it, some people really just haven't been exposed to the other side. Some people haven't been exposed to, yeah, a man changes his habits because maybe a situation changes. Yeah, he went to work and stayed at work a little bit longer, maybe because he saw the consumer's bill, and instead of bothering you and telling you about it, he was like, you know what, if I stay at work a little bit longer, I can take care of it, um, knowing that you won't have dinner ready until an extra hour and a half uh, after he gets home. So he figures, okay, I can spend that hour and a half making more money, hence what I guess I can only speak from experience what I've done. Um, maybe his mood changed or his habits changed because his boss put pressure on him at work. And the reason that he doesn't want to talk to you about it is because when he gets home, he's asking you how your day was because as your man, he wants to look like you're a rock. He wants to look like that solid foundation for you. So you're unloading on him. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but what I'm saying is, yes, sometimes a change of habit doesn't necessarily mean a man is cheating. Sometimes it really does mean he's more invested in you, is more invested in your relationship. Yeah, I do. I know some guys that cheat. I know some ladies that cheat, whatever. And if I want to be upfront with you, yeah, I've cheated in the past as well. Um, But when you attack the situation, and a lot of times, right, when we cheat, it's because we we don't want to deal with the situation that's in front of us. And I'm not calling our, our mates, our spouse, whatever, our situation. But whatever's going on at home, you don't want to deal with it right then and there. So you find an outlet, 
and that outlet becomes something that you hold on to for dear life, and now you're juggling two situations when you could have just handled one. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's mm-hmm. – I guess we can sure, talk, sure. talk about it all night, but – it's, 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 and it's not to say uh, that the, the young lady on the show is wrong, but believe me, yeah, men are creatures of habit, and the biggest habit that we have is getting shit done. No, I, I do agree that when men do change their pattern, it's not necessarily mean that they're cheating. In, in some situations, that's not the case. But in, in, in my situation, where I, where I knew the first day he stepped out on me, and he, he told me this years later, that's a, how did you, he asked me, when we had a conversation later on, we kind of had like a kind of a hashing out of what happened in our relationship type of conversation. And he said, the first day I went to cheat, you, you said something to me, and, I, and I, I swear to God you knew what I was about to go do. And I said, because our situation, like I said, this, this is what I mean by, like, if, if, if we're in a relationship, we're always communicating, we're always talking about everything where your friends are my friends. Like I know your work, how, how your work goes. You know how my work goes. All that is going on. And communication is key through the whole entire thing. And then all of a sudden you stop communicating. And when I try to communicate, communicate to you and see what, what the problem is, you're not addressing it. And then all of a sudden you want to hang out with your friends later. You want to do X, Y, Z. You're not coming home for days at a time. That's a red flag. Something's wrong because if you've been up under my ass, all the time, and I couldn't go nowhere without you. And every time you went somewhere, I was with you. And all of a sudden, now that's not happening, and you're not talking to me. That to me is my intuition. Let me know that something's wrong. And when I address it, and you don't address it, and we don't have that conversation, and it's not happening. I already know what's happening. And it was Yo, I watched it crazy. happen. I I I allowed it to happen. <laughs> I watched it happen. I sat there and, and and like let it happen for a whole freaking couple months, and then I realized. You know what? This is this is not healthy for me to have to let go. I'm not saying it's all men, but every situation dictates itself. Like I said, when we have to, like guys do it too. Y'all have intuition too. Y'all know that when something ain't right with a girl, oh, yeah. you know what she's lying. <laughs> you kind you, you kind of know. Like you kind of get that thing in the back of your head, like nah, she's lying. That don't make sense. Like it's <laughs> certain things that that kind of give you that sense that something's not right. And whether like and this and I'm I'm, I'm a big person on proving facts. Like, like if, 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 I, if I'm going to question you, I already know what's happening. I already have my proof. I'm not going to come at you with a, with a shallow or a random outburst. I'm going to, when I, when I ask a question, I already know the answer. And that's why, and I'm asking right. to see if you're telling me the truth. Because at that point, I already know. I'm, I'm not going to come to a dude and say, oh, you said last night, oh, you're cheating on me. We're not going to have that conversation. By the time we have a conversation, something is, I, I know something happened. And I can prove it. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing that's crazy to me. I see so many women do that. They, 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 they'll, you know, do all the investigating. You know, drip. You know, they'll, they'll do all the snooping, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, then, then they want to come to the guy and be like, you know, let me, let me see if he's gonna lie about. Like, are you, are you gone? Are you not? Are you do what? Why go through all that? Like, do all that, do all that, snooping and all that. <laughs> it, it is. is. It is unnecessary. It absolutely is but unnecessary. But that's, just, but that's just how that's, that's crazy, just how it is. Though. Because like at the end of the day, you don't want to say, okay, so Paul stayed out late last night. He got to be fucking some random bitch. Like that first night he stayed out, or he, he stayed out too long. I'm not going to jump in your throat and say, oh, you fucked somebody last night. I'm not about to do that. Like if if I feel like if if I feel like what you're doing is is shady, I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna set situation to see if what I'm Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just. It's something, it's something you know, said earlier. Can I ask a question? Though, earlier, can I ask Sonny, a question though? With, uh, she said, she said, or oh, you told me that the, the the whole base of your relationship, and, and and I believe the same thing, is trust and communication. So if, if you're if you're building a case over a long period of time, why can't we not we? Why can't you talk about? that situation when you start to feel a certain way, because maybe, maybe, and, and obviously your situation dictates how you feel. And I, I addressed it at the beginning. I, so, I, I addressed what? it from the first, from the, not not the first night, but the first time we he stopped communicating, I said, hey, what's going on? Because we, we, we don't do this. We but talk long, all the time. How long did you wrong? let that go? How long did you let that go? And I'm it only was, asking. It was, um, honestly speaking, that situation, it was about a week because, it was uh, uh, the whole week. It was oh, I'm I'm going here. Oh, I'm going here. Oh, I'm going here. And I'm like, okay, so you don't go anywhere. So why why are you going somewhere now? 
And then when you stop, like, you stop communicating with me, like, all it was was I'm, I'm going to work, and then I, I would, you wouldn't call me. Like, you would call, like, this person, a creature I had, you call me all the time when I'm on lunch break, you call me, and you say, hey, baby, you got to work. Hey, babe, I'm, I'm talking to you your whole lunch break. So I'm or I'm calling you home, baby, baby, got the kids, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I got the kids. Blah, whole conversation when I'm cooking dinner. So there's nothing. For a whole so, week, and I'm like, hey, what's is, like, is something is, going is, on? Is that like a, the end of a hunt? Could, could that be, not in your situation, but in some situations, could that just be the end of what we call a honeymoon phase? And I've never, and I never, before, like, I should have prefaced it by saying this. I am not condoning cheating. I'm not defending any cheating, dude. No, that's not. That is not what I'm doing by a long shot. I'm just asking, like, hey, could it be that the honeymoon phase is over? Now, well, man, that was, that was, totally that was a whole year. That was, that was a whole year, almost two years after. That was two years after we had started dating and we lived together. So that was a complete, oh, like, oh, it was, was a honeymoon phase. The, the, honeymoon phase uh, the honeymoon phase can last for years. And a lot of people yes, don't understand it based on the relationship that you may have. Well, I was on two, going on three. I was, I was on, uh, I was <laughs> ending two. Going into three, and it was like, what's happening? Because this is like I said, I'm big on communication. In this stuff, I'm men are always we always talk. I like to talk. So that's what we do. Y'all know that on the show. <laughs> I do that all my in my yeah. life. I'm yeah, so yeah, I we, we like, kind of pick that up. We hear you. Shut up with your shit. Shut the hell up. But I'm a talker. <laughs> Everybody knows that about me. So if I feel like something is wrong, I'm going to address it. But I'm, I'm, I'm. But at the same time, like, and that, that's with a friendship too. Because if I feel like we're friends and we're having an issue, okay. So if if I feel like the communication is dead, I'm going to say okay. So so I'm I'm in that situation saying why I would do a relationship. Okay, this, 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 did I do something wrong? Did we have a fallout? now? Did, did they feel some type of way about something? So I'm going to wait a week and say, okay, so when we're all clear Hold ahead, up, sorry. I'm, I'm about to say what's going on. Sorry, let, let, let's get back to uh, something you said I'm, earlier. That, back to the communication about as far as cheating goes. As far as cheating, because we keep saying, when we saying cheating, I think everybody automatically thinking about fucking somebody else. Physical. The, the partner right. fucking somebody right. else. No, that's communicating. Yeah. That's not, that's, 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 oh, hold on, that's not... Oh. You know what I mean? That's not just – those are some people, it, it, it's deeper than that. I can tell you from a personal yep. situation, when I was in a relationship, the communication broke down. Like, she wasn't talking to me. Every time I tried to talk to her, like, we wasn't getting nowhere. She wasn't cheating. You feel me? She wasn't cheating. It's just that the communication stopped. So what, I, I can't communicate with the woman I'm in love with no more. You know what I mean? So now – Another female pop up. I can talk to her. You know, me and her having me and her having conversation. Me and her having conversation. Emotional cheating. You feel right. me? Emotional exactly. cheating, right? Exactly. It, 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 uh-huh. So I felt, you know, I felt some type of way that I, that that was happening. You know, it, it, even yeah. the girl that I was, me and her was having the conversations with, she even said something that compelled me. I went to my girl and I told her what was going on. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm trying to talk to you. I can't talk to you about nothing. You don't want but to talk like to me. But men like that, too, because if, if a woman sleeps, if a woman sleeps, uh, go, go mess, go entertain another man, it's like the the men take it as, if, men take it as you step, you as a woman cheating on a man, you have to get comfortable with a dude. I'm not unless you just <laughs> don't give a fuck. So that's, this is why that's, men that's take the point I was getting to. That, that's yeah. the point I was yeah, getting to. That, yeah. that, 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 that is cheating as well. And she felt like I was cheating on her. So so basically, even in my mind, I was like, at the That's time, the I was like, well, I didn't do nothing with her. You did. But. Yeah, yeah. Sonny's breaking, breaking up with you, too. Cause you, cause yeah, you too. like, <laughs> jump it in. You know what I mean? Like, jump it in. Right. Right. Last, last <laughs> Like, but that's 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 that's, that's the point. Emotional cheating is worse, in my opinion. My last, yeah. Yeah. My last little bit was uh, that's worse. That's that, worse. Yeah. They connect to you on an intellectual level. They connect to you mentally. Um, sometimes they can connect to you on a spiritual level. Um, so with me, I'm. But very my question is, who fault is that? My question yeah, is, who fault is that? See now, now that not, that's see if I come to you, if I come to you, we're in a relationship. A if I come to you and that I want to talk to you, that's the hard question. Every, every point you shoot, you shoot me down. What am I supposed to do? See, no, but sometimes but, it depends wait, on. Wait a minute, as, let, as, let me, let me, man, hold on, let me, let me. We got to figure out this. the best way to address <laughs> it. Um, because that was something. Oh, 
Hello. Yeah. Yeah. It's at, I just uh, I, I, okay. I look at it as oh, um, I look at it as you gotta you know address I think, it. I, I think the caller was trying to say something. Okay. I think you just have to look at it in a. I guess for me, like it, and and no disrespect to Maryland, at some point in time, even when it comes to communication, especially when it comes to communication and trust, you have to set in a ground rule. And I'm not saying you go to your 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 person and you're like, yo, this is how it's gonna be. It's like, listen, I need to learn how to articulate things to you. Because I may not, you may not like it the same way that, like, you can, hey, if I'm having a long day, don't beat around the bush, don't fly that airplane around, there's no turbulence, land the plane, tell me what's going on so we can get to the end of it. Don't try to lead up and have this big climactic, no, please don't. Just let me know what the hell is going on. (laughs) But for you, I might need to, it might need to be me get to the crib, Maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to do the dishes because I know if you're up in arms and if you're upset about something, then me doing the dishes diffuses what else you're mad about. So when we talk, we're talking from a a, a, a very steady level. So I'm taking away all the other stressors. So when we sit down and we talk, it needs to be like a, almost like a passing the baton type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Where I promise not to say anything until you get like a water bottle. You hand me the water bottle. I I don't repeat to you what you said, but I say, hey, this is what I think you meant. Is this correct? So now we have an understanding. About I think I call. I think I call said. as a therapist. <laughs> right? No, man. I, 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 no. I'm on the line too. Just, hey, real talk. Just, I'm on the line. I didn't know. I'm a, I'm a dude that I've had the experience of being on the good end and the bad end, and unfortunately, the bad end is where I made mistakes. I'm man enough to say that, and. I lost relationships because I was immature in handling it, and I was immature in myself. And I was, you know, so now I can speak on a, from being a, a boy to a man, like, hey, this is how I would handle it now. Am I perfect? No. But at the end of the day, if I can talk to you where you need to be talked to, then that eliminates a whole bunch of other issues. So while someone else has my attention, they have my attention because it was easy to talk to them. And it's going to be easy to talk to them because right. they know nothing about me. Now, if I'm going to the person at the crib, you like you, I'm not trying. You wash my clothes. You picked up the plate when I left it on the table. I didn't flush the toilet. I left the toilet seat up. Yeah, you you're going to come at me at a different uh, approach at times. You know what I'm saying? And I have to understand that. And it's the same vice versa. Mm-hmm. I didn't leave my plate on the table to piss you off. I was running out the house. I didn't leave yeah, you did. You left on <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. It was uh, it was three o'clock in the morning. I went to pee, and I wasn't thinking about putting the toilet seat down. You know what I'm saying? So as long as long as we figure out how to talk to each other and how to communicate, I have a question. I, I think that's when things. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a question. Why? Yes, I just want to know why in relationships are we constantly? Asking ourselves How can I prevent Someone else's actions Oh you didn't talk to me When I wanted to talk to you So I started talking to somebody else What? Why didn't you say Oh you want to talk to me When I want to talk to you Okay well bitch I'm leaving you And then you go oh, do what shit. you want to do <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I mean That's, 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 that's what I was trying that's to get you, But I can't get cut off Absolutely yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a legitimate that's point that's no a, that's other a point reason I would have to do, but I got cut off. You know what I mean? Outside of their relationship, <laughs> other than yeah. and besides, because that is what they want to do at that time. Because everything goes through right. cycles, especially relationships, because you're dealing with two people who go who are going through life cycles. And so sometimes, and mm-hmm. there may be a point in my life where I may be, you know, like right now. I'm going through some crazy shit. So I'm I'm not I'm withdrawn right now. I'm not conversating with people. I'm only conversating with you guys cuz I don't have to see you guys and you guys don't know me personally. So I can talk and you know say whatever I want to and yeah, talk about my business, but, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but other than, you know, I mean as far as, you know, my friends right now, you know, my male friends, they're 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 on like ignore. 
I haven't seen him in a week. I haven't talked to him. I haven't had time to. I haven't wanted to. I probably don't know when I'm going to desire to in, in any time soon because right now I'm in, I'm in a cycle in my life where that's not the most important thing. And so if he says anything other than, okay, hey, Marilyn, I'm not getting the attention that I need from you right now. I know you're going through something, but right now I can't. I can't keep on getting ignored. Okay, well, leave me alone. Goodbye. But don't say, oh, yeah. I'm supporting you. I understand you're going through something. And then go do what you want to do and then say, it's all your fault. No. Firstly. Secondly. Yeah. See, um, yeah, see I wasn't saying that. If a man, say if, if, someone, spends, if <laughs> someone in a relationship does something to me that I don't like, I don't need to know why you did it. I don't need to know where you were when you spent the night out. Hey, you spent the night out last night, don't do that shit again. I don't have to know where you were. I don't give a fuck if you was at your mama's house. You got drunk. You hey, why, where were, were you about 10 years ago? I want to know. Where were you? I'm, I'm just like, saying, I don't want to know why. I don't need to I know why. I want to know where you said you were at, and then I'm about to cross-reference where you said you were at. Right? It don't I'm matter where you were at. I don't like you. Like you. I think, like I, think, I, think, I think what this comes down to, what this comes down to is values. Like this, this, this comes down to values and priorities. Like you know, what I mean, like Marilyn said earlier, infidelity isn't high on her value or pri- priority list in a relationship. So it used to be I until guess I found that's, somebody, that's, until I found women who had faithful husbands. And you know what they do? I can't stand his ass. He's boring. I don't like them. And you know what they do? They whoa, cheat. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, that's well, that's, well, that's, that's, well, no, that's true. That's, whole, that's, that's, true. that's what happens. That, that is un- unfortunately that's what happens. <laughs> but that's, that's a whole I know whole women who man. have. Fa- I know a woman. She said I had a husband. I had two husbands. My first husband, she said he was a cheater. But we got along real good. We had fun. He we did things that I like to do. We did. He she said everything else about him was perfect, but he was a cheater. So I left. I thought that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. So now you got this new man. Listen, listen, listen. Let me finish. So now you got yourself a new man, right? She got yourself a new man because you now you thinking in your mind the most important thing to you is is he got to be faithful. So now you got yourself like he's faithful, but now she's like he don't like to get off the couch. He want to sit in the house all day. He want to go to work. He want to come home. That's all he want to do. We go somewhere. He's a horrible company because he's not interested in the things that I'm interested in. And now you know what she's doing. One thing don't got nothing to do with the other. One thing really don't have nothing to do with the other. Well, what I'm saying is. With somebody not being a cheating. No, what I'm saying is you have to figure out what are your priorities. Okay, can't hear y'all. Okay, what are your priorities is what you have to figure out. If you're going to say, hey, you're perfect, You're, you're a 9 out of 10. But I have to go because you're not because you, because one thing isn't there, and then you think, okay, so I'm going well, to go over that, here. That, that's common sense. We know, first of all, we know that somebody is not going to have all ten qualities that we're looking for. But if that person has seven or eight of the qualities that we're looking for, then you're able to go ahead and compromise. That's when that word compromise that a lot of people kind of forget about in relationships. You have to compromise. Okay. You have to accept the person for who they are and deal with certain things. Now, like he said before. Infidelity is not something that is on your top priority. For me, being through the things that going through the things that I've gone through, guess what? Infidelity is not an option for me. For first of all, for me to do it, or for you to do it. The first time you do it, I'm out because I've dealt with it before, and I know that it is a consistent thing. You know that you're going to continuously do it because I allowed it to go through. Because I allowed you to do it the first time, and this is a conversation that me and my ex have. A lot of people don't understand. And a lot of people, and I try to get them to understand that um, when you break up with somebody, it's okay to try to, especially when you have children involved, it's okay to try to um, to really be cordial with one another and get a clear understanding of what happened in your relationship so you guys can move forward and help each other heal through those different things. Like I said, we were together for 12 years. So we have periods of time we talk about our relationship and not necessarily going into details of a specific situation, but we talk about certain things to kind of help each other heal and get a clear understanding of why we did what we did and why we went through those things to be able to move forward with somebody else. And like I said before, um, for me, if you cheat, I'm out. Um, and the reason why I say that is because now I see the difference. And when we, when we were together and when I decided to stay with this man, 
it was never something that he was uh, he was never going to change. And the fact that I ended up leaving him, I see now that when he moves forward with another woman, he'll never cheat on her. And the reason why is because he lost a good woman to him cheating, and he will never do it again because he understands that hurt and that pain without having somebody that he cares for, you know, because of his actions. He understands that. But I had to get him to a point where it's like, you know what, you're going to have to learn how to live without me for you to be able to see that you are messing up the things that you have by giving in to your temptation or giving in to your lust because because somebody was able to text you when you wanted to text because I wasn't able to do so, because you were able to get a phone call from somebody when I wasn't able to do so. Yeah, this my, people, yeah I can't I can't say that. Well, this is this is this is my again. thing. This is my other thing about cheating is that it's not only it's not only about the act, right? It's not only about like we talked about the emotional part. It's not only about the act. It's also about what else gets gets destroyed by it, right? It's 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 also the fact that if you if you are cheating and you're doing it in such a way where your mate has to, you know, snoop around and, and, and do investigations and all this kind of stuff, that means that, you know, you may be lying to them. That's the, so you're losing trust, right, because you're losing trust in that person. The fact that they are now lying to you, they're doing things that are counter to the productivity of your relationship. They may be even doing things that are counter to the produ- productivity of your family because a lot of cheaters also – do things like spend money that should be being spent on, you know, things for the kids or things for the house or things for the for the family, and they're spending it on other people and other situations and this kind of thing. They may be uh, uh, lying to you, lying to other members of the family in order to cover up what they're doing. So there's a lot of lost trust there. And, and even the fact of being able to do the communication part. Uh, communication for a lot of people is most important, and communication is probably one of the most important things for any relationship. And if you're out there communicating only with this new person in your life because, you know, now they're, they're what's more important now than, than the person you're supposed to be with, your wife or your husband or whatever, then, you, you know, now you're breaking down the communication at home. So there's a lot of things that are getting taken away so so the 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 infidel the part of infidelity the the sex part which we're no, normally talking about here that's not the only thing that's affected when it comes to being you know having infidelity in a relationship the sex part may be the least important because i know I, I've, I've been through that i, I mean totally one of my situations agree. was totally the, the woman cheated on me you know sex wise and when it when it when it was just the sex i felt like i could save the relationship i didn't i didn't the sex part didn't mean that much to me when it, when the greater picture to me was this relationship has so many positives and so many good things going on, and I felt like it was salvageable and that if we could, you know, maintain the communication, maintain the, the love of, of, of ourselves and, and everything we had going on, every every you know, piece of the puzzle, then I felt like it was salvageable. But when you have a situation where you know that you can't trust the person, when you know that you have um, the inability to communicate with that person, you, you, you can't see being with them not only because of that part, but because of other things that have now broken down in a relationship, that's what really breaks down a relationship. And my, you know, one of my favorite words is, my favorite, one of my favorite words is intentional and intent. And the reason I say that is because, number one, and whether it's male or female, when you get caught, you're like, oh, I apologize, I made a mistake. Well, a mistake is something that you happen to fall into. Um, You (laughs) didn't make a mistake. You made a bad decision. And a bad decision is okay if you teach your children a bad decision. I've fallen into it before. I'm sorry. I've tripped before, and it ain't my fault. (laughs) I should have never said that. But... You tell your kids, like, hey, you know, you made a bad decision and you made, you know, your your decision has consequences. And the reason intention and intentional is one of my favorite words is because if you're intentional about your motives and you're intentional about the way you're handling business outside of your priorities, then you have an, a, a total different issue. And the reason why it's, and you know, Marilyn, it, it's it's how she feels, but the reason it's hard for me to get to a point where I could ever say, yeah, infidelity is not a priority for me is because a part of infidelity is taking the time to be in, being intentional with your time with someone else. You don't just wake up and you're not boning through the phone. You know what I'm saying? You have to set up 
you have to get to know. You have, well, you don't have to get to know, but you have to at least set a place, set a time, get to the place, get do whatever y'all going to do, and then you're done. So this entire time, you had a whole lot of points where you could just say, okay, I'm done. This is, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay, no, 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 I'm, I, I know I did this, but I'm not going to do it. So that, and that's, I don't know, man, and that's, and again, that's my experiences, say something totally different than everyone else's, and you know, and that's okay, I respect it, but at the end of the day, what is the point of even being in a relationship if you're going to tell me it's okay for me to do whatever it is I want to do and you're going to do what you want to do? We could just be friends if that's the case. So when I say things like I don't, that like fidelity is not one of my top priorities, what I mean by that is is that I don't make it one of my biggest concerns. If I found a man that was faithful, I wouldn't be upset. But I, if I found a man that was unfaithful, the only way I would probably find out is literally if I walked in a restaurant or a room and he was on a date. I am not an investigator. I've, now, I can't say I've never done it. I did that before. I'm talking about I drove myself crazy trying to control someone else's actions and make sure that you don't do and you can't do that. So I had to let that part go. I had to get me some business. I started minding my business. Why am I going through his phone? Why am I going to find something for me to do instead of going through his phone? Instead of trying well, to crack his that's, code that's all funny. night, why don't I go read a damn book? You know, I, I get, get you that. some business. I, 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 that's all I, I, that's I, what I say. I'm not going to drive I, I, myself not crazy. Everybody, but not everybody that, not everybody goes, not every, first of all, I've never gone through a man's phone. I've never done none of that stuff. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like I should have to do it. If you're cheating, I feel like this, and I said it on past shows, side, side people, especially side chicks, want to be known. So you don't have to search. They will find you and let you know Baby, that they are fucking your man. It happens. It happened to me several several times. So you don't have to look. It's, they they wait, want to be known, and they will make themselves known. They feel like they're that important to that person. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're the investigator looking. I don't investigate until I feel like until – not even have to investigate. I don't address the situation until I feel like it's, this, is, this is what it is, and I absolutely know it. If your side bitch called me, guess what? I know you're cheating because she just called me, and, and, then, and may, then you call me right after. Why, why, why are you talking to so-and-so? Who the fuck is that bitch? Any any time I've ever been cheated on, the side person has called my phone, and I I never knew their name until they told me. That's like that's, that's proof in the pudding. This person just called my phone right. and talking to me, telling me to stop speaking with the person I'm living with. How? What? Wait, what? I don't understand it. Right. That happens. So do you leave? But, do you um, leave the relationship once you get that phone call? I I I I first of all was shocked that day, and I I left maybe a week later. The, the first, in each the, relationship, the each that, situation, you said, you said you had multiple situations. No, the, the, I'm not talking about to say the last situation, I was not with that person. We were just starting to get to know each other, and that side bitch called me. And I'm like, what? Like, what the hell? Like, okay, so that's, that's your piece. Go ahead. High five to you, nigga. Keep that over there. I'm going to be over here. I don't have to deal with that because, like, I didn't know about her, and I, <laughs> I wasn't even with this dude that she called my phone and said, hey, you talking to so-and-so, that's mine. Okay, well, he can continue being yours. We're not together, so I don't have to fuck him. Go ahead and continue with your door. Like, they ain't got so nothing to do guess, with it. I didn't know. I guess it, it, I found out. It's a diff- for uh, for Marilyn. I guess she, like she said, it's it's not a priority, and she's not gonna drive herself crazy about it. I guess, and and I hear what you're saying, like, oh, you could find something else to do, but or not, but however, and I guess my biggest concern is even when you said your 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 home girls who have. Uh, husbands and they were happy but faithful and faithful they they were boring I'm like well time out man it's it's really a two way street it's not a one way thing so if if I'm gonna say hey my mate is boring what have I done to influence getting them into some kind of activity no I'm I I don't there think you go that person is cheating exactly. I I, mm-hmm. I really don't think she does but if she doesn't take interest in what I take interest in hey, that's okay, because that means that's something that the two of us can do separate away from each other to get our me time, and when we come back to each other, it's all good. But what can I do? Okay, she doesn't like, she doesn't know anything about football, for instance. All right, cool. She doesn't know anything about uh, 
video games. Well, you know what? Hey, I will do when, when football season is out, if I'm not coaching, if I'm not going to the games, because I swear my relationship is shut down once college and NFL football start. Anyway, um, <laughs> in the off season, in the off season if, there's, if there's a TV show, like I am, and not granted, I ended up liking it, but This Is Us, I was like, what the hell is this? I Game sat down and, it's so tough. And, and watched it. I sat down and watched it every week without complaining. I didn't huff and puff and make it obvious that I was in the room. I just wanted her to see me. I wanted to be there. I wasn't on my phone the entire time. I'm being attentive. I'm being attentive to what she likes, even though I wanted nothing to do with it. So now when football season came around again, all of a sudden you found her, hey, well, what does this mean when they do this? What does it mean when they do this? I didn't pressure her. I didn't have to, oh, my God, I got to leave the house every time a game comes on. As a matter of fact, the conversation was, hey, babe, let's go get a, a bigger TV so on game night you can just stay at the crib if you want to, have your homeboys over here, y'all do your thing. That's how, like, that's what I mean when I say, well, what did you do or what did that person do to influence the other person's uh, behavior? You're not controlling them. You're never right. going to change somebody grown. But you can always influence. Love usually wins. And you attract, what's the saying? You attract more flies with honey than you do vinegar. I mean, it's 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 a true story. Right. Now, of course, it's not going to be perfect. It's not easy. And you, Dude, I had to sit through more than This Is Us. I had to watch some stupid love and hip hop show that was ratchet as all hell. And I didn't want to do that. <laughs> right, right. Well, this is and okay. I mean, so this is the thing. Lie. This is the thing, and this is the thing too. The thing, the thing too, is that if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, and not even just a relationship, but you're talking about getting married again, you you should already know that you need to be with a person that's going to be compatible. I mean, yeah, we want we want our our mate to be faithful, but if if Faithfulness is the only thing on the list that they're they're marking off, or the only thing they're checking off. That's not a that's not a good relationship. You 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 just you you just hanging out with a friend. You just hanging out with somebody that's you cool with. So why why even marry a person like that, knowing that you have no compatibility, no no uh uh, uh no connection with, and, and and that you feel like that person's boring and that person has nothing that you can. So I think that's where they went wrong. Anyway, wow. they settled. They settled like, in order to, to, to like check off a box, to check a box. And, and, and so, I would, like. so I would agree with you, Marilyn, is that they, they definitely did it wrong by checking that one box and saying, you know what, I'm happy now because I know this man going to be faithful. Yeah, he's faithful. He can't get off that dang on couch. His ass, nobody <laughs> wants his ass. So, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely know, not worth it at that point. Society, they they get get back up the show. Okay, well, I just think that a society, that society puts a lot of pressure on women by holding us accountable for our husband's actions. I'm sure oh. it, every woman on this phone has talked to the side bitch, and the first thing she says is, if you was handling your business like you should have, he wouldn't be talking to me. <laughs> well, really, it has absolutely, no, he's talking to you because he wants to. It has nothing to do with me. And so sometimes women start to feel like it's something wrong with me because if, if I was doing what I was supposed to do, or if I was this, if I was that, then, you know, maybe he would be faithful. And so then they start driving themselves to find someone to be faithful to them so that they can feel good. But then they forget that he don't like to get off the couch. I like to get off the couch. He don't like to do anything. I like to do things. Right. And then once that honeymoon stage goes away and you realize this is some boring-ass faithful bullshit, now you're like, well, what am I supposed to do now? Because now I'm bored. Right. But like I said, I think I think all that all that stems from self control. So you don't, you know, you don't, like you said, you don't, you sh- you shouldn't have to beat yourself up about the actions of another person. That other person should have used self control and they should have made the right decisions. Uh, like like Jack was saying, they they made they made a decision that destroyed that relationship. You didn't. It wasn't you. It wasn't your actions. You didn't pick that. I, I definitely go against that grain. I mean, you you can you can create patterns in your relationships, but I don't think you. You pick people specifically that's going to be cheaters. There, it, it, I don't think it's 
that that obvious what everybody. Some people you can tell, but not everybody. Ninety. I was I would say I won't say ninety, but I would say a good seventy percent of the time you can't tell that person's going to specifically cheat on you. You 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 pick them because y'all were y'all were compatible. Y'all had good times. Y'all you know felt that there was enough uh, uh, things that you could agree on or that you could link up on. And you roll with the relationship. You didn't roll with it thinking like, okay, yeah, uh, I know as soon as I turn my back, that dude about to go cheat on me. You know, it, it was, that definitely wasn't in the cards that you were trying to deal yourself. All right, guys. This, this was a great topic. I enjoyed it. I think all the callers for calling in and being a part of this. Thank you, Marilyn, for even putting this ideal into into motion. This is definitely a great conversation. Yes. I mean, we 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 agree to disagree on certain things, but then we had a real grown and adult conversation, and you know get to get to take something from it from everybody and what everybody say. Take it at least take something from what someone said, and maybe somebody opened your eyes to a, to a different viewpoint and things like that. So yeah. definitely a good <laughs> conversation, definitely one. Um, all right, guys, we got to wrap this show. Which I wanna like, I wanna give out your information. Hey, go ahead, Michelle. All right, it is Michelle Collins. Um, you can catch me on Instagram and Facebook at Unforgettable Pleasures LLC. That's about it. Clint. She already know it's your boy Clint. Holla at me. That was Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and of course. I, I like. <laughs> All right, this is Willie Styles. Got uh oh. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, come on, we got we got an order to this. We got an order to this. <laughs> All right, this your boy Willie Styles. You can get me at Willie Styles everywhere. S T Y L E Z is how I spell. I'm at Willie Styles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Willie dot Styles on Snapchat, and uh Willie Styles dot info for all my links. And of right, course, are you Sunny? <laughs> right? Shut up. Oh, I hate you petty guys. I am Sunny underscore D. On Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, um, you can follow my personal blog, unreservedlyme.com. Catch all my shenanigans there. But definitely follow GFT Radio Show. Follow us um, on Twitter and Instagram at GFT underscore Radio. Look at our website, GFTRadioShow.com. Follow, Google us. We're everywhere. Um, iTunes, Google Play Music, YouTube. Black Talk Radio, you know, all that. Find us. We're there. So look us up, subscribe, follow, you know, do all that crap. And we love you guys. Thank you for supporting. Michelle, thank you for joining us for another night. Whenever you want to come back, just let us know, and we will gladly have you on. Because you are, it be so, like, it's been, it's been hey, good. Come back every, hey, come back every week. We, 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 we definitely love you. Just, just do you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks again, Marilyn. Thanks again, Marilyn, for 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 calling in once again, uh, taking time that out. Was a busy day. Yeah. That was Jabril Jack Jack from the D. What up, though? Appreciate yeah. you calling in, brother. Yes, yeah, definitely. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight, Clint. See you on seven days. Good night. Holla. Staples knows that when your printer jams more than it prints, it's time. When your paper supply is in desperate need of resupply, it's time. When the only printer in your office that's not out of ink is three flights up, it's definitely time. And it's times like these when pros turn to Staples. Staples has great prices on everything you need to print. And now, buy one HP ink, get the second 30% off. Staples. It's pro time. N72217. See store or staples.com for details. Restrictions may apply. It's time for Optimum's Red Hot Sale. Get 200 meg internet, TV with over 260 channels, and unlimited home phone, all for $69.99 a month for one year guaranteed. And for a limited time, HBO and Showtime are included for one year. Switch today. Click for details and special web-only offers.